The sound of school bells are ringing on college campuses, signaling that it's time to get back to the books as inflation is driving up the cost of everything. Of course, we want to help you ease into the school year without losing a ton of cash, with saving some money. Uh, Cindy Richards is editor-in-chief of TravelingMom.com, and she's the mom of two grown kids and has a lot of smart college packing advice to share. So uh, when it comes to packing up the vehicle and getting kids to move into the dorms, uh, what are some ways that families can consolidate for an effective commute? Well, I think you want to get together with as many families as you can, but remember, you're going to be taking a lot of stuff. So it may not be the time to gather up all the kids that you can pack in one car and put them all together, especially if your kid is going to be driving themselves. You want to limit the number of kids that are in the car and make sure that none of the sight lines are disrupted so that they can drive safely. And we want to talk about flying, too, because obviously there are some people who have to fly across the country to move in. Uh, what's the best way to save on flights? Do you have uh, some savings for us? Well, I think it, you probably have already bought your flight if you're going to school now. The key really here, the secret is to buy your flight for the kid to come home for the holidays. Because if you haven't already booked your flight for Thanksgiving, those get really expensive and they sell out. Uh, by the middle of October often. If you can, book your kids direct flights because as we all know, flight, flying is a little challenging right now and you don't want them to miss a flight, miss a connection and then miss their first day of classes. One more question for you. For some parents, this might be their first time actually taking a child to college. It's very emotional. I have a friend who's doing that uh, herself with her 17-year-old. Uh, how can they best prepare for the dreaded drop-off? And how can they be supported by other members of the family, like uh, siblings or grandparents? Well, I think the key really is that you want to um, find a private space to say goodbye. You don't want to have a big crying mess in the middle of the dorm that's going to embarrass your child. So find a private place for that last hug and make sure you bring a big box of Kleenexes with you for the drive home because you're really going to need them. All right. Thank you very much, Cindy Richards. We appreciate you joining us. And we are getting your family back to school all week on News Nation. Next, how you can save on the rising cost of school supplies. We're going to tell you everything you need to know. That's tonight on Rush Hour, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 Central Time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.